deep breath. Abby, will you marry me? <laughs> Touchy Feely is such an interesting and unique kind of story. What inspired it for you? You know, I had years ago this idea of what if somebody who has to work intimately with strangers' bodies, you know, every day just reaches a threshold and they can't do it anymore? It seemed very likely to me somehow. And then what would they do if their occupation was taken away from them and how would they handle that and what would that mean about their identity? And then when I worked with Rosemary DeWitt on Your Sister Sister, that character just bubbled up for me and I felt like she's the one. So I was able to really flesh it out and write it really for her. And at the same time, I met Josh Pice, who plays her brother in the film as an uptight dentist who starts healing people mysteriously without understanding why. <laughs> And then the rest of it just kind of came out of those two central storylines. Due to some unforeseen circumstances, I will not be seeing clients for the time being. What's going on with you? I don't know. I feel really weird. It seems like a very character-driven story. Who are some of the featured characters and what do they go through? Josh Price plays a dentist who, he's, he's been sort of on automatic pilot for a long, long time, and all of a sudden is starting to find this shift in himself where people are really thinking of him as a healer. At the same time, his sister, who has always been the healer of the family, is really starting to lose that part of her identity. She's all of a sudden very afraid of touch. And so there's a flip-flop there. If you came here hoping that I could somehow magically take away your pain, I can't do that. Just do whatever you did for the last guy. There are a lot of themes in this film about transformation and healing. How do you convey those themes visually through the camera? We take a lot of time trying to plan out how we're going to show to the audience a character's point of view and a character's um, arc in a story. And I feel like there's multiple moments in Touchy Feely where the visuals sort of take over and give a little bit of poetic license to the way people in the film see themselves and deal with themselves. And it's really a film about living in your own skin and contending with who you are as a person. So hopefully we've got a few little chapter markers in there that visually <laughs> show that to the audience. So why don't you just climb on up here and get comfortable with your head this way. You've done so many diverse things with your career. What made you decide to take on this role in Touchy Feely? What touched you about the script? Um, it, um, before I even read the script, I heard that um, Lynn Shelton wanted to meet me for a project, and that's what got me interested, because I'm a huge fan of her work, and I like the way she works. It's different than most directors' work, and, and I found it really kind of exhilarating and a lot of fun. That looks actually really comfortable, but I should have been more specific. I meant on your, you can get on your back, oh. your head up here. Okay. Perfect. Like that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 